Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and it is incredibly late. It is the latest. Mm. That's why I need coffee. And today we're going to do the Heads or Tail Challenge, where I'm going to flip a coin. Head means yes. Anything else means no. So basically, that is how I'm going to play this. I'm going to play... Uh, we're going to play the Apocalypse Mode, the whole thing. We're going to have to scavenge supplies. I'll try my best. We're going to play it on Fatman difficulty. I haven't played this in a while. I don't know if anything has changed between updates. I don't think there's any, like, bigger DLC, um, and nothing was released like that. So I will try my best to get everything and not screw it up. I mean, chances are I'll, I'll just fail miserably. I wouldn't be surprised. We have a few seconds to look around and break some stuff. There's our daughter. I'll try to go for most of the family. That'd be... Probably a good idea. Come on, give me the water. Give me my daughter, my trombone or whatever instrument that was, daughter. I, there were some, like, really huge discussions and people telling me what... Oh, a padlock, I'll take it. What kind of thing that was she was playing. It's not a trombone, it's like... I forgot what it's called. I said it in one of the episodes, but it's been a while ago. Great, I'm destroying the interior. Guys, Ted, you paid, you paid good money for this. Uh, this is a horrible run for the matter. Uh, we have half a minute left. Grab, grab the axe. Grab the son. Gra grab the kid. Good. Somewhere there's my d wife. I don't know where she is. There she is. Wife, come with me. Uh, gun. Let's, let's grab the gun. Chances are we're going to get a few items on top of it. Um, I will have the mask. I will have the water. Anything else? Yeah, the map is always a good one. And I think that's all we can do. Oh, no radio. There's the radio. Oh, I want this so bad, but there was no chance. Ah, uh, there was no way I could have done this. So, here we go. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. God, it's late. All right, it is day one in the bunker, in the shelter. Day one, all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing can suit the selfie for you. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. As I said, there might be some stuff. We got ammunition. We don't have that much food. No one's complaining yet. All right, what do we have? I forgot what we have. We have uh, four bottles and two cans of soup. That's actually pretty good since we don't need that much food. Every five days, food as soon as they ask, basically. So, for today, nothing's happening. Everyone, we blew it up. We blew up the place. You maniacs! Why would you do that to us? Why would you do this to the world? It was such a beautiful world. And no barbecue. I'm so sorry, Ted. Should put a razor in there. I still think it's absolutely irresponsible that you would not keep anything in your shelter. Like, you know, like a flashlight. You should always have that in a shelter. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Okay. Everything's happy. Nobody's sick. Which makes me happy. All right. Uh, obviously, we're not going to send anyone out. It's it's highly radioactive out there. We do have a map, but that would be ruined. And we cannot look. Ah, oh, the Boy Scout book. Urgh, I forgot about it. I will ask the coin if I'm going to send out someone if I need to. Basically. For now, I'm not going to ask him the first five days. And so, we are left with no photos, no news, and no happy thoughts. The world is too cruel. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? How about Timmy? Yeah, you're not getting anything. Yeah, yeah, you want all water. I cannot help you out there. The neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Not surprised trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. No shit, Sherlock. This dreadful sun is becoming boring. Yeah, I don't have a radio. Okay, my family members are probably going to go crazy or are going to get bored or, I don't know, start killing each other. Haven't seen that yet. I don't think that event exists where they attack each other. Wouldn't be surprised, though. I also like when Ted gets tired, his fort seems to just get bigger because his eyes sag. Imagine humans would be like that. Like, our eyes would actually go down. Man, if I was a better video editor, I could totally make that happen. Like, make my eyes melt down. Someone's gonna put that on Twitter. I already know. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. You say that, and I don't believe it. All right. Day five, we will give them some water. Containment is still strong. I will send them out uh, as soon as it tells me that there's no contamination. Which I probably can't, because I don't have a radio, so nobody will tell me. We have to go out. It, it has to happen. Anyway, we need to give them water. It is day five. We don't want to kill them. And you know what? I'm going to ask the coin. I'm going to ask the coin. Heads or tails? Heads means yes, we're going to send them out. And we got a head on this water. 
what means we're gonna prepare an expedition for tomorrow. I mean, nobody can go, but maybe they'll feel better tomorrow. Playing a game or two might be a good way to relieve the mood and take our minds off the problems of today and tomorrow. And hey, playing games is good for you, so why not give it a try every now and then? Because games, well, I don't, I, then play games. I don't know, get get something. Yeah, you got a checkers board. You could play games here. Checkers, play some checkers. Super, super interesting game. Why not chess? I feel with chess, you would have more replayability. Anyway, we played I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. You got checkers, you, can, you get checkers while you're not playing this great game. It's a fantastic game. You don't need to play I Spy, you morons. Uh, okay, everyone's happy, nobody's hungry. Yeah. That seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to a crappy place. I love that, I haven't read that before. Okay, who should go outside? Nobody can go outside, they're all unable, so. I mean, I asked the coin if we could go outside, but the coin does not have magical ability, so you can't just magically make people healthy again. I, I tried, I tried. Mary Jane is quite hungry, 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 hungry. That's all they got to say for themselves. Fine, here's some food and should we start an expedition tomorrow? I mean, it's not going to help, but I will try my best. And we have heads. Yes, expedition. I'm not going to be able to do all the flipping all the time. I'll just shake it in my hand and flip it around because it's going to be silly if I don't catch it. And then I have to like grab it off the screen. It's going to be pretty stupid. All right, day eight. What's going on? Tay says, they say ignorance is place. Tay says ignorance is place. Another day without any clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. I don't know what this voice is. Now it's slipping into Russian because that's apparently what I do even. It, Ivan, listen. Mary Jane, very thirsty, has to drink vodka. Timmy prefers apple juice. Dolores has to drink, 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 ring, yin, yin. Find you some. Oh, wait. No, you don't get water. It's day 10. Anyway, nobody can go at sight. Uh, so you get another day in the bunker without uh, chances to get a radio. We gotta send you guys out. You gotta get better. Uh, terrible shape, terrible shape. Yatta, 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 yatta. We've seen all of that. Who should go at sight? Nobody can. So we just gotta keep waiting. What a bummer. It is day 10, which means we are one step closer to day 11, believe it or not. It's just way too dangerous to randomly run into a ringing phone in the middle of the radioactive ghost town. Oh, that was a phone? <gasps> but yeah, I couldn't send anyone. Anyway, everyone's in terrible shape and everyone wants water. Got you covered. Water? No problem. Here you go. Enjoy. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. Ha! <laughs> Ah, sure. Here. Uh, I'll do a thing with the coin. It's total, totally did a thing. And we got heads. Of course we got heads, but I can't send anyone. All right. Oh, that's a good one. Yes or no? All right. We're close off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of the local retirement home. They must have some supplies and in our opinion, we need them more. The well-being of our family is the most important thing in the world. Right? Well, I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you here, so we'll ask the coin. Let's see if the coin wants to attack the elderly for food. And uh, uh, told you. Told you that would happen. Anyway, we got, oh, we got tails. We, we, we got tails. Well, no, no, we're not attacking. We're not, we're not stooping down to a level where we're going to take food from old people. Let him die with dignity. Or something. Robbing innocent people! Absolutely not. We are not savages. We cannot stoop that low. It's important to keep our values even in these troubled times. Especially in these troubled times. Let's set a shiny example and leave those poor people alone. Okay, everyone's good, 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 good. Today's been fine. Ted is fine. I like how the page only says that. Like someone wrote that down. Like, day 11. Ted is fine. Feels like kind of wasteful. Anyway. Where did they get the book from anyway? I didn't bring that down. It was that the only thing you had in there. Anyway, time to ration supplies. Nobody gets anything. And yeah, nobody can go and scavenge. It's the worst. This is this is horrible so far. Day 12. Come on, guys. Stay stay with me. Gotta be strong. Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in the current situation. Life is hard for us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood. Mary Jane seems fine, and there's nothing going on with Ted. Well, we really got nothing to do. 
Should we start an expedition for tomorrow? Magical coin, tell us. Yes, we should start an expedition tomorrow. Why couldn't you done that? We're freaking... All right, one of the cupboards in the shell was a bit shaky, so we pulled it out to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Where does it lead? No idea, but let's find out. All right, uh, I'm gonna set heads for the gun, using the gun, and tails for the flashlight, so. And if it falls because I can't catch it, nothing. All right, so uh, it's tails, so we're gonna use the flashlight. Fantastic. Let's see how that goes. I bet nothing, nothing will go wrong. Day 13, my lucky number. Seems that nobody's dead just yet. We inspected every corner of the room and found nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. I right, could use food, could use something to drink, would like to eat something. Okay, so we got Dolores and Mary Jane want some food. Here you go. I don't know, Mary Jane doesn't look like she would need anything. We're, we're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. There is no expedition. I don't know who told you there's not going to be an expedition. You're going to stay in the shelter and you're going to starve. Day 14. Things are the same. Oh, shit. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink. Fast. Timmy should eat. Ted is hungry right now. They are hungry. And we're officially out of food. All right. Oh, Dolores is in pretty good shape. Should we go on an expedition? Heads. Fantastic. Yes, we should go on an expedition. Let's send Dolores. We've been smelling something funny in the shelter ever since we woke up. Sure enough, there was something. Something or someone started a fire. And it's already spreading. We can't save everything. What are we safe from the flames? Well, let's, let's let's think about this. We don't have a first aid kit, we don't have a radio, and we don't have a Boy Scout book. So we're good. Fire, whatever. Don't need to worry. Let's hope nobody burns. Where's the bird? Hey, bird. You want to come? No, you want to eat something. Okay. He doesn't want to hang out. I tried. We rushed right into flames, trying to put them out as quickly as possible. We were able to stop the fire before it did any real damage. That was a close one. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink. Yeah, can I have all of that? Yeah, you get water. No problem. All right, here's water. Um, and Dolores is going outside. Uh, what should you take? Yeah, take uh, take an axe. Yeah, take an axe. That uh, sounds good. Uh, there's no coin needed because, I mean, she goes. That's, that's decided. Let's hope we don't die. Let's hope that mommy brings back some food. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she make it back safe and sound. Otherwise, we're all doomed and we'll die. Mm. Mm. I got I got a weasel zone mark. It, good times. Anyways, time to ration supplies. Um, no, nothing for anyone. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland, like with a radio, which we do not have. I should have brought the radio. That's really basically the worst about it. Wait, I didn't bring a ma I didn't. <sighs> she didn't take a mask. I thought masks were standard to bring, but apparently I was wrong. If there's one thing we need to do. It's use a radio on a regular basis. I know. No, Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a very strong young boy. I had too much coffee, but that's to be expected. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he is doing well. Time to rush supplies. Nobody's getting anything, and it's time for another one. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in fresh, radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was a note on it. Oh, no note on it. My bad. And the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Well, head for yes, tails for no. And we're opening it. Sweet. Let's hope there's something useful in there and not a bomb. Why would you put a bomb in there? That makes no sense. Day 18. Ted is sick. That went well. That went great. Inside the suitcase was some soup, but look, it expired a long time ago. We're not feeling very well. Some of us spent the whole morning using the bucket in the corner. We're not accepting anonymous gifts ever again. Yeah, you, you, you're gonna die. That's. I, I got a bottle of water. That's all I got for you. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could get just out and leave walk to the surface like we used to i mean you can you're just gonna die fairly quickly from radiation that's that's the thing oh mother's back and she brought food yay cool all right we were about to give up and come back empty handed to a shelter when we ran into a church it looked peaceful enough save for an unexploded atomic bomb stuck in the church tower a sizable group of people were busy praying the bomb chanting something about the holy fish that sounded really crazy but those people seemed friendly enough that followed reference. Those nice people gave us some canned soup. They say they don't like the taste of it. Now we're certain that they're nut jobs. 
Ray Jane keeps fainting. Timmy is rested. Um, yeah, water soon. Uh, anyone hungry? Uh, Dolores hasn't eaten in a while. I guess I can give her some food. Screw it. Here you go. Who should go outside? Oh, we didn't get a phone call so soon. Sure, let's. Should we send Timmy or should we not send Timmy? Let's let's see. Heads for yes. Nope, we're not sending Timmy. That's a great decision, I'm sure. Gotta make sure we stay safe. Day 20, for what it's worth. Let's see. It's just way too dangerous to just randomly run to a ringing phone. I agree. Mary Jane Stein could use food. Timmy should eat something. And Ted should eat something. Okay, so now we gotta choose. Ted is already sick, so I'm not gonna feed him. And water. Sorry, Ted. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to cut our losses here. Sorry, sorry, buddy. All right, uh, should we do an expedition for tomorrow? No, no, no expedition. I'm sorry. Today during breakfast, we were startled when our map slid off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they were a firm in place. It could be a poltergeist. Maybe we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it. Anyway, in the wall behind the map, we discovered some sort of safe. We're curious as to what treasure might be in sight. Should we open it? Well, that's only one way to find that out. Yes, we should open it. Cool. I would be really sad if we wouldn't have opened it. So, anyway. Day 21. Ted is dead. That was that was intentional and planned. Too many days without water took the toll that Ted died. We're still not certain about how the mat fell down, but it was some ghost playing if it was some ghost playing tricks on us, it's a friendly one. Oh. Inside the safe we found some useful items. We found soup! Cool. Alright, nothing new happened. The Lord hasn't eaten in a while. Well, here's some food for you, you greedy. Alright, expedition, yes, no. No expedition. Um, it's... we still got food. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is, they're probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is, they're huge and will probably attack us when they get a chance. We cannot defend ourselves. We're boned. Yeah, we're boned. They probably grow really fast. Okay. Nobody's hurt, but there's a cockroach. A giant cockroach. My favorite. Oh my, that thing is huge. <laughs> Why would you? I mean, I mean, I mean, thank you. There's anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a very strong boy. Yep, 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 yep. Everyone's fine. Cool. Who should go outside? Uh, noises. Oh, zoo escape. Um, should Timmy go outside? It's 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 an event. Oh, damn it! I knew this was gonna happen. Anyway, uh, tails. No, Timmy should not go outside to the animals. Are you kidding me? I really don't want to die. Okay, we need we need to do an expedition fast. Uh, Dolores won't last long without water. Timmy prefers apple juice. Can we spare some water? No, no, no. Anyway, should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Coin, tell me no. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. As long as we have food and water. <laughs> no, we don't. Uh, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible. Don't worry, it's still possible to get food even if we don't go out, like finding holes in the wall or something like that. Um, if there's one thing we need to do, it's use a radio. I know, Mary Jane keeps fainting. Terrible shape, terrible shape. Yada yada yada, I had that all. Everyone's gonna die, it's gonna happen. Should, should we send someone out on an expedition? Oh my god, it threw it on me. No, we should not. You gotta be kidding me. That's okay. It's fine. Don't worry. I I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional idiot. Okay, so. Fact of the matter is, two people are gonna die. That's just straight up gonna happen. Well, kids, I'm so sorry. Shall we prepare an expedition for tomorrow? Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Because... The kids are gonna die. Oh, we always wanted a pet, but we just couldn't decide what to get. A cat, a dog, no matter. We have our very own cockroach colony now. Unless we want them to stay and play fetch, we should start doing something to drive them out. Should we use the rifle? Nope, oh, Jesus. I think when it fell down, it means no. But I'll I'll try again. There you go. No. No, we we're not, we're not, we're not using violence. We are not violent people. Jesus, that's the worst idea ever. Day 26, the kids are gone, my husband's dead, and I'm going crazy. Like a water drop, Timmy insane. And Mary Jane found out she's not getting a single drop of water. She got furious. 
Anyway, our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting, and annoying. But surely this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us, and there's not much we can do about it anyway. Maybe one day we'll manage to convince them to pay the rent. Dolores is doing quite well. <laughs> She's so dead. She's so dead. Like, I don't see this happening in any way. There's no radio, there's no food, there's... And she's going crazy, look at her. She's she's losing it. Alora's sanity is questionable. I mean... Yeah, she's, she's done for it. She's done. There's... Should we start an expedition? It's not gonna happen. I mean, if I send her out, it's it's lost. When Dolores came back from that expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. It didn't seem serious at that time, but right now it's quite a terrible sight. If we don't do anything about a losing long leg, will be a minor inconvenience in comparison to what might happen next. Axe or no axe? We're gonna axe it off. She's gonna axe it off herself. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Day 28. Okay, seemed to have worked. If there was one thing we would have never considered, it would be cutting off any part of Dolores with an axe. Not only would she object to this, she would probably take matters and the axe into her own hands. It was our best interest to avoid such a situation. We did use the heated axe blade to clean her wounds, and the infection seems to be fading away. The operation wasn't pretty, though, and we damaged our axe. How do you... I don't even know how you destroy an axe like that. Anyway, she wants water. I don't have water. Should we, should we should we do an expedition? Good one. We can. She we will lose. It turns out, Mister. Actually, never mind. We we got a padlock, guys. Got a padlock. Expedition it is. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't know if she's gonna survive that long. It turns out, Mister Freeman, the physics teacher at Timmy's school, was right. One plus one does indeed make two. In our case, it's two more cockroaches because those little bastards just keep coming. We need to clean up our mess or end up with a full blown infestation. Use the rifle or not. Use the rifle. Cool. About damn time that the thing works with me, not against me. Okay, so we got a padlock, which means we can go out and probably come back. Okay. We've defeated those. Um, she needs to go out now, and she brings the padlock. As far as I remember, this can work, but she might die outside. Because we have no water. So... Nope, it's the end. It... <laughs> It is very clearly the end. The big post on a shelter entrance claims the bunker is not a property of the government. Well, that's probably not the first, nor the last time the government screwed us over. Well, I thought that would work, but no, the padlock does not work. Probably only works when the, there's still kids in the shelter or something like that. Uh, we spent 36 days in our shelter. Fantastic. Um, this is the quick recap of everything that happened. But yeah, we did not make it. This coin worked against me. Anyway, if you have some fun ideas how we could play 60 seconds, leave them in the comments below. Let me know if you guys would like to see more. It's been a while, I know. But yeah, if you do, let me know. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Are people going to leave a like? No. Is the person watching subscribing? Yeah! Like the coin said you have to. Burnt. 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 Burnt.